Hi, I am back today, and this, 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 this is anxiety in me. You'll notice the background of this video is different. Um, I've been keeping my um, curtains shut because I don't like the sun and waking up early. So it's a little bit of a different setting, I guess. Um, I also changed my hair. Uh, I have this recent obsession with teal. I guess it's not recent, but it's just, like, been more prominent. Um, so, yeah, change is good when it comes to that, I guess. Um, I took uh, a couple weeks off. The last time I posted was two weeks ago. Um, I guess I just needed a break with what was going on in my life. I want to thank those who have been here and helped, um, with my family has, uh, my family situation. I can't talk today. Um, it, uh, means a lot to us. I also took a break because the point of this channel is to be authentic to myself. Um, and I have been doing that in the past. I just didn't want to post when I wasn't really feeling it. I want it to be something that comes from the heart um, and that needs to be said. Um, so with that being said, um, I have a new sort of direction with this video and I wanna talk about how anxiety can be a good thing because in the past it's been like ways to cope and whatnot and it's easy to see the negative in in it and you know dealing with this mental illness every day is obviously hard for those who can relate um but this is just a little bit of story time and uh my experience um so i would say my anxiety became really bad in high school i it's not easy to see the good um when your teacher would announce that you're doing a presentation and say, oh, don't worry about it, it's in a few weeks or even a month. And you wish they didn't announce it because every night you're thinking about that presentation and ways to skip it or maybe saying it's a sick day, but then you have to make it up anyway. Or, but every night you're up thinking about that and all the worst possibilities just being up in front of the class like nothing you can do will calm you uh, i remember my freshman year in a geography class i was so nervous and freaking out that i totally forgot how to say geography <laughs> and i was in the front of the class and three times i said geography and i felt like an idiot and I was like, if I can just get this out and say it the right way, but I couldn't remember what the right way was. And it was the worst feeling ever. And like, you don't think it's gonna get worse than that. But then sophomore year, I had to do a speech in front of my whole class in the library and anyone that wanted to come could. And I wanted to choose a subject, obviously, that would be personal to me and easy to talk about. And I loved what I had to say. Yet when I was sitting up there and getting ready to go up, I was feeling the worst that I ever had with my anxiety. And I, in that moment, told myself that I would rather be dead than doing that. But I was more, I guess I didn't, I was embarrassed about it and I didn't want people to be able to tell that I felt that way and like I had to get through it because also like with my personality like I'm not a quitter and like that makes it even that much harder but then all of the years after that junior year there was a teacher that had popsicle sticks with names and if no one was volunteering they would use that to get someone to answer the question and I would be dreading being called on so every time she asked a question I'd be thinking of how to answer it but then I would be called on on the questions that I wasn't sure how to answer and being a junior in high school and just feeling so out of place like everyone there was smarter than you or even on projects and homework I was excellent but testing was the worst thing ever and like 
I always stressed about when I was gonna finish and people judging how long I would take and it wasn't that hard, but writing an essay in class timed, like all of those little things, just getting up out of bed in the morning, um, doing my hair, maybe I wanted to do a bun that day and it didn't look the way that I wanted it to, all these little things that gave me anxiety and I felt like a weirdo, like no one would relate to that. Um, there was one teacher I had junior year that was really understanding when I said that I couldn't present this PowerPoint in front of the whole class because I sometimes I would literally feel like I was going to pass out and the lumps in your throat, your bones ache, you feel like you're going to puke, all of those things that all of you can probably relate to in some way. Um, she was really understanding and told me that I could do it to her but not or to her um like after school just the two of us but not everyone was like that and um there are plenty of teachers that I guess didn't understand or didn't want to give exceptions and even freshman year they were like no I was like I'll just take the lower grade or just dock points off and they're like no you have to do this and that sucks when like you can't like when adults can't understand like how that feels um and senior year I had to go but like going to teachers and asking for accommodations was just like gave me anxiety just as bad like asking for accommodations yeah I'm a senior in high school but I'm scared and I can't do these things I always felt like I was being held back from like my full potential are the things that everyone else could do and there was this one person that I talked to right before my senior year and they were a fellow classmate and they were saying you just have to go to school and talk to everybody and like who cares what people think and be more open and friendly and all this stuff and I guess I get what they were trying to say um, but thinking about it now, they were telling me to be myself, and myself was a reserved person. I mean, with past trauma, I didn't have an easy time trusting and opening up to people, and being myself was being shy and reserved. That was my comfort, my comfort place, and the ones that really mattered would wait, um, for me to let them in, I guess. Um, so with all that being said, anxiety is a tough, tough thing. Um, sometimes you have adults that will say, oh, well, once you get up there and you're presenting, like, it's not that bad and it goes away, but it didn't for me and it got worse. And with all this being said, I'm not anxious about the idea of going to college. I'm hoping with all that I have been doing that it won't be as bad. I'm learning to cope with therapy. This channel has been super helpful for me to voice and realize that there are many people who feel the way that I do and that have gone through similar things. Um, with that being said, I want to say a week ago, I, my dad suffered from a stroke and it was really scary and hard and it, I guess at first you're thinking, oh, it can't be that bad, but then when he came home, my mom had to go get him from work and I didn't even recognize him in the way that he was talking. And everyone in the moment was debating if we should call 911 or bring him to the ambulance or to the hospital or get an ambulance. And I finally was sitting on the bed and he, his speech was so slurred and just, he was so out of it that I grabbed my phone and I was like, I'm calling the police. And I did. I called the ambulance and the ambulance showed up and we were all crying on the front porch with plenty of people staring at us 
and I realized in that moment that you are not weak for crying and I was gonna make a whole separate video about this concept but there's not much to be said to be said beside that sentence that you are not weak to cry it takes bravery to admit that you're not okay and if something is affecting and hurting you it's because you're human and you're allowed to feel those things and validate your feelings as well as what other people are feeling um later that night when he was in the hospital my mom was texting me and she said that the doctors told her that i called in the nick of time and that i saved his life and that's like <laughs> A huge load to carry on my shoulder um, in good ways and bad because you're of course initial thoughts after that as well what if I hadn't called like what would have happened because when the strongest person you know is looking at you and saying no it's okay don't call please don't call you want to listen to them because they're not supposed to be you don't see them as ever being weak because they they are the rock of the family. And when I was told that and I was talking to my therapist afterwards, she told me that it made sense of everybody in my family that I was the one to take action and call. Because when you have all of this anxiety, your anxiety makes you act in stressful situations. And if I didn't have the anxiety I do have, I might not have called because I wasn't, because having, feeling the need to act in stressful situations is, comes from having anxiety and no one else would have done it. But I did because I was feeling that way. Um... There's a bunch of other examples that I could think of, but this one speaks to me the most because it was um, two weeks ago, I think, pretty recent. Um, with that being said, I am going to close this video out. Sorry, it's a little bit longer. Um, thanks if you watched the whole thing. Please like and subscribe and comment. I'd love to hear all of your stories, um, suggestions, anything like that. Um, I'm gonna be on vacation this following weekend, so I may post not this next Sunday, but maybe Monday, but, um, we will see. Um, again, thanks to everyone for their support. Um, and then with this channel being anxiety in me, sometimes... You have to tell yourself to see the good and that you're meant to be exactly who you are and deal with what you're dealing with because you will reach people and find a way to make something great out of whatever your struggles are. Um, easier said than done, but this is just my personal experience and story that I wanted to share with all of you. And I will see you guys soon.